Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the TradingView stock screener to find pre-market movers and gappers for day trading. So let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna want to do is on the TradingView homepage, you're gonna go on chart and then open any chart and at the bottom left you're gonna click on stock screener. Now the reason we want to access it like this is because now this way we can actually click on any stock in the list and we will immediately be able to look at a chart of that stock. So let's create our stock screen. To do that we're gonna click on filters right here and here you will have different tabs where you can select different filter criteria but we can also just search for them. So the first thing that we're gonna want to filter by is the last price and we want it to be below or equal to 10. The next parameter that we're gonna be filtering by is the market cap. So we want that to be small, maximum of 50 million. Then we're also going to want to filter for the relative volume and we want that to be at least two. So that means that the volume traded of this stock right now is at least two times the size of the average volume for that stock and that means we have a higher chance to see a bigger move. Now the last parameter that we want to filter by is the shares float, so the amount of shares that are available for trading and we also want that to be a maximum of 50 million. Now, Lower float stocks, they're gonna allow for larger moves because there's actually a higher chance that a large amount or even the whole amount of the shares float will be traded in a day. And so that will give us a chance to catch a big move. On the other hand, trading stocks that have a lower float will give you a higher spread. So that means it will be more difficult to get into a trade with a larger position. So if you're looking to trade a larger position, you're gonna be one looking for stocks that have a higher float and also, if you're going to trade a larger position, you're going to want to put your risk into the money instead of into the market, meaning you're going to be looking for smaller moves, but you're going to trade a bigger position. So that means risk is in the money, not in the market, as compared to trading stocks with a lower float, with a smaller position, but bigger move. So we can see all the filters that we've selected here. We have a market cap of a maximum of 50 million, shares float, maximum of 50 million, a relative volume of two or above, and a price of 10 or below. So now we're gonna get a list of all the stocks that fit our criteria right here. And we're gonna wanna select the extended hours view. And then you can see we already get the columns pre-market change and pre-market gap percentage. And we can filter the list by that. And we're gonna get the stocks that have the highest pre-market percentage change or the highest pre-market percentage gap in our list right here. Now what I like to do, I want to add all of the columns that I've actually been filtering by. So we're going to add the relative volume and we're going to add the float. And then you will be able to easily filter and sort by any of those in your screen. And you can also, by hovering over one column and then selecting the little lever icon here, just change the parameters that you're filtering by right here. So the way the stock screener is organized is that you have and can create different views and these different views they will have different columns giving you different information about the stocks in your list and you can change the columns, you can remove them and you can also add columns and then you can save these views as a custom view and you can favorite it so that it will always be available in this drop down right here and you can always select it for any stock screen that you create. And now so we don't have to like input all of the filters every time we do this we can click right here and we can save that screen as let's say my pre-market screen and then you will always be able to select it from the list right here and it will be populated with the parameters that you have selected. And another awesome thing you can do is you can also create an alert for that specific screen so you will receive an email, you will receive a pop-up within the app every day when the pre-market scanner is run and that way you will never miss any opportunities and you can immediately just go in and go through all of the stocks in the list and see whether you're actually looking to trade them on open. So now we can of course also filter specifically for gappers. So we want to be looking for a gap that is at least 4% in size. And the reason that is that as a rule of thumb, you can consider 
gaps that are larger or at least 4%, there's a higher probability that we will continue trading into the direction of the gap, whereas gaps that are smaller than 4%, there's a higher possibility that these gaps will actually fill. And so for gaps that are smaller than 4%, we're rather gonna be looking to fade the gap, trade in the opposite direction of the gap that is. So now once you have your list of stocks, you have your list of gappers, what you wanna do is you wanna select the stock and then select news over here. So you can actually check out what has been reported about that stock pre-market. And so you get an idea why it's moving and whether that's already priced in or whether it's like really good news and there's a higher chance that more traders are gonna jump on that and therefore continue pushing the stock into the direction of the gap, which is actually what we wanna see. And otherwise, if it's more likely that the news have already been priced in, we're gonna be looking to fade the gap. All right, so that's the way I find pre-market movers and pre-market gappers. I hope it's valuable for you and that now you will never miss any opportunities in the market again. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.